Libra. Welcome to your reading for the week of November 23rd. This week, you start off with the Six of Diamonds, which is a great card, all about sowing and reaping. It is a sowing and reaping card. It's about, you know, planting things and watching them grow, nurturing them, and having them turn into something else. So that's what this card is. It's also a very karmic card, as with all the Sixes. They are all about the energy we put out and what we get back. In, I would say for you, in the past, you've probably been putting a lot of energy into things and getting nothing back. But when this card comes in, you can safely put energy into things, like starting a business or starting a new job, and you will see a return on your energy moving forward. Again, whereas in the past, it would have been more challenging in not seeing a return on your energy. When this card comes in, you can see that return of, of energy. But it's also a card that, again, asks you to plant lots of seeds and to look at other things and to get other things started and start even projects. This is a, this is a great project card, starting projects at home even, um, side businesses, any of those things. This card rewards the beginnings of those things. Next, you have the Two of Hearts. A lot of you could have love coming in. This is a perfect match, being really happy with somebody, kind of like that soulmate level of connection with the Two of Hearts. So a lot of you, you know, I would say get out there and try to meet people because you might meet the perfect person that makes you really happy this week. Uh, if you are in a relationship, this just means your relationship will be really strong this week, very positive, and you know, have a lot of positive things going on for you there. So that is a good card. Next, you have the King of Diamonds, which is, I feel like, somebody coming in for a lot of you. Somebody coming in and offering you advice. Could be a boss. Could be your boss at work or a potential boss, even. Or just somebody who you consider a leader in your life. A leader for you, maybe. A leader to you. Could be even be your parent, father. Uh, but not always. Like I say, I don't attach sex to my cards, so it could be your mother as well. But somebody coming in, giving you good advice, and it would be advice that you'd want to take. So if a leader-type authority figure in your life, and again, somebody that you consider an authority, not somebody else, just somebody who is an authority to you, um, if they come in and offer you advice, it would probably be really good advice. This could even be like a raise, your boss coming in giving you a raise, your boss coming in and, uh, you know, offering you just recognition and support anything along those lines so be on the lookout for that that's a really positive message i feel for a lot of you next you have the jack of spades which i you know i'm getting is you this card really asks you to have more fun whenever jacks come up they ask us to have more fun in our life no doubt about it to go out and have fun to try to meet new people all of that, but this card also asks you to uh, rely on tools that you've learned from the past. The Jack of Spades kind of represents somebody who's been through a lot, who's had a lot of challenges, but you've learned a lot from those challenges. And then now moving forward, any challenges you face will all be things that you already know how to handle. So when this card comes up, it just says, trust your, trust the past, basically. Trust that you know already had how to handle these situations. So overall, really great week. Enjoy it.